And there are two major headlines tonight in the race to vaccinate. Overseas, more European countries halted the use of the AstraZeneca shot as they experience a frightening new surge of cases. And right here in the U.S., the first young children got vaccinated in a new trial. We're going to cover it all in our two reports, starting with CBS's Jonathan Vigliotti in Southern California. Good evening, Jonathan. Good evening, Nora. The new strain of the Brazilian variant has been detected here for the first time in this state, renewing urgency to vaccinate. Meanwhile, tonight, encouraging news from Moderna now testing its vaccine on children. Tonight, Moderna becoming the first U.S. drug maker to vaccinate children, testing the shot on babies as young as six months up to kids under 12. The company also running a trial in kids over 12. Two of the participants are Dylan and Blair Davis, their parents, both doctors. I wanted them to be an example, to set an example, to say, hey, this vaccine is safe. Promising news for kids and parents. So we would expect that children going into high school in the fall will be able to go in vaccinated. And a Florida baby has been born with COVID antibodies. It's the first known case. The mother, a healthcare worker who received her initial dose of the Moderna vaccine while pregnant. Tonight, Mississippi is expanding vaccinations to all adult residents 16 and older. Connecticut and Michigan announcing they'll do the same on April 5th. Thanks in part to vaccinations, California is beginning to experience normal life again. Really fun and nice because we haven't been here in like a year. But this comes as San Bernardino reports a case of the worrisome P1 variant initially detected in Brazil, the first case in California. It's already in at least 11 other states. How concerned should we be when we hear about these variants taking root here in America? Well, I think the reality is no one knows. The fact is cases are declining despite variants being present. What the average American should be doing is focusing on getting vaccinated, and tonight, COVID creating March Madness at the NCAA. Six referees sent home from the men's tournament after one positive test and contact tracing. Jonathan Vigliotti, CBS News, Rancho Cucamonga, California.